Customers are taking another big hit after losing their fourth largest customer. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson spoke with a local farmer about the impact the move will have on an already tough year for crops. You could call this soybean field the front lines to a new war on trade after China announced they'd no longer be buying ag products from the U.S. It's like working your 40 hours and getting less money for no other reason, and that's the price. Mike Moreland is a third-generation farmer just outside of Harrisonville. He grows soybeans, corn, and raises cattle. That's our total income. That's what we do. This week, China said it would stop buying U.S. agricultural products. The loss piles onto an already tough year. Weather is the main thing. Uh, you know, with so much rain early in the season, it was very tough to get our corn planted on time. And we did get all of our corn planted, but it was about a month late. China made up almost $6 billion in U.S. farm product exports last year. It's the world's top buyer of soybeans and bought roughly 60% of U.S. soybean exports last year. Since the trade war started last year, prices have dropped and Moreland is seeing it firsthand. You can never can guarantee what you get for your crop because it's a commodity. It's price, it goes up and down. It's traded every day. But as a whole, yes, we got less for our soybeans last year than we did the year before. Moreland says he's it, feeling it, the pinch, was, but not as much as like, other farmers. We're pretty secure in, in our farm business, but there's a lot of farmers out there that had more debt, and this hit them hard. With 700 acres of corn and 700 acres of soybeans, Moreland says he's staying afloat by budgeting his spending, and he's hoping the U.S. and China can come to an agreement. I really appreciate the, the objective of getting fair trade. We want trade. We want to trade with other countries. We need trade. And I think once we get this worked through, we'll get back to, to good relationships and we'll be selling a lot of products to China and other countries even. In Harrisonville, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. And we also spoke to a farmer on the Kansas side who said he's feeling the impact too, but would like to see the Trump administration continue to press China to get a fair agreement in place. 